Okay, have you guessed ever seen a situation where we put a hyperbolic trig function inside of an inverse trig function? If you haven't, I have one right here for you. This is the inverse tangent of the hyperbolic sine of x. And our goal is just trying to verify that if this is equal to one of these right here. So as always, please pause the video and try this first. Okay, hopefully you guys all have a chance to try this. And let me tell you guys that the answer to this is A. And you see, this is actually really pretty because you see that we have the inverse tangent outside, but this is the hyperbolic tangent inside. And when we had the hyperbolic sine inside, we have the inverse sine on the outside. So it's kind of symmetrical, huh? It's really cool. And let me show you guys how I will show you guys to derive this. Well, remember that this right here, it's an inverse of a trig function. So it represents an angle. And let me just call the angle to be theta. And I'll just write this down. Theta is equal to the inverse tangent of hyperbolic sine x. And I'll just call this to be the sinh, okay? From here, we can just take the regular tangent both sides. So in other words, we can say tangent theta is equal to just this. So that's the sinh x. And now, whenever we have tangent of an angle, we should have a ratio of two numbers, the opposite over adjacent, right? So let's look at sinh x as sinh x over 1. By doing so, we can say this right here is the opposite side of a right triangle. Likewise, this will be the adjacent side of the right triangle. And from this, let's come up with the right triangle because that's going to help us with our identities. So let's go ahead and draw a right triangle. And you should always draw your right triangle this way so that it's always consistent. Put the angle theta here and then the uh, right angle here. Okay, opposite is sinh x. So this is the opposite, which is sinh x. And the adjacent is just one, which is right here. From this, we need to figure out the hypotenuse, which is this. And we can just first open the square root. And we do this square, which is just one square, plus this square, which is sinh square x. So that's pretty much it. But the best part is that this right here is equal to cosh square x. So we can put this down as square root of cosh square x. And then the best, best part is that this and that will cancel. So in the end, we can just say this is nothing but just cosh of x. So it's really cool, huh? And now, look at this picture. And suppose I don't want to look at any of the answer choices. I just want to come with a really cool identity for you guys. We see that the opposite side is sinh x and the hypotenuse is cosh of x. Well, I want to do something with opposite over hypotenuse, which means that we should do some regular sign, right? So from this picture, let's go ahead and take the regular sign of this angle theta. Because when we do this, we can call out the opposite over hypotenuse, which is sinh x over cosh x. And the reason I want to do this is because this is equal to what? Just tangent, right? So we know the regular sine of theta is equal to tangent of x. And now we can just take the inverse sine on both sides. In another word, we get theta is equal to inverse sine of this input is tangent of x. Really cool, isn't it? This right here is theta. This right here is also theta. So of course, they have to be equal to each other. So let me just put this down right here. I think it's pretty cool this way. Inverse tangent of, so inverse tangent of sinh of x. It's equal to this. Aha, this right here is it. 